Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, subscribe now and drop a like on this video. Nice big windows. This picture, this right here, Richard coming in and seeing this and sitting in here. Well, I'll tell you right off, I would drop a nut, I would get a sectional. And I would drop another seat somewhere around here, a third one. This would be a nice view of the backyard right here. I drop some kind of stool in case I want to turn around and look at my backyard. This is my opinion now. But anyway, not so crazy about the stools, but. This is a demo model. Try to picture your fixtures, flooring and textures in this home. You gotta have imagination. Got to have imagination. You know, gotta have it. There we go. This model is called the Seaside. Square footage right there. Bam, there's the price. And no, you don't have to take this refrigerator. You don't have to do that. Like I said, this picture of this home with the flooring you want, wall colors, textures, etc what you will want. Since this is jumping out at me, let's take care of the second bath and get this out of the way. Real nice. Actually got a nice little window. It's not as skinny as you guys think. It's narrow. I mean, you a grown person couldn't like hang out of it, but you know, I'm not saying that, you know, a child could get out of it. Someone can get out of it sideways. You know, it depends on their size. Nice shower. Keep in mind, this is a single wide. Somewhat affordable. I want to take a look. And hopefully... It's pretty nice. 
If everything else is as nice as this, and I understand its price. Nice size bathroom. Bedroom number one, of course. Keep in mind, this is a single wide. I'm trying to show something affordable. Not everybody got $300,000 for a mobile home or a modulant home. Some people prefer mobile homes over traditional homes. And I, I, I dealt with, I deals with both of them as far as the ownership. And believe it or not, if you get your mobile home that's in good condition and you take care of it, and you get a used traditional house, like everybody said, you can get this and that for the price. Some of these mobile homes are more durable than a traditional house. Now I know some of you could say, ain't no way. No, it's way. And now it's bedroom number two. Yeah, it's way. I don't know if you want to believe it, but I'm pretty sure somebody that has a regular home and eventually just wanted to get a second home and it's mobile, and they find themselves dumping a lot more money into that traditional home that's only built in the 80s. Then that mobile home. That's also was built a few years later. And it's supposed to be cheap. And old and raggedy as everybody like to say. So I mean I'm not saying that that's always the case. But. Just keep in mind. Let's journey on. Nice ceilings, plenty of lights too, as you guys can see. But I don't wanna to shoot too many ceiling, too much ceiling. Cause you guys just start saying, oh God. Here's the utility room. You know, so you about to say, oh God, that's it. It's not that bad. You can get you some washers right up in here and dryers. Got your nice little back door. Bam, put your dryer right there. Drop your washer right here. Throw your nice little rack up there. And you're good. And you're good. Now let's go into the master here. Don't want to give it away too fast. Oh, I got a his and her closet. Let me tell you, it is big. I'm way up in here. And again, this is a single wide. Keep that in mind, single wide. Look at this closet. And yeah, this one's probably, this is the hers here. I gotta say it, this is the hers. Why are they about the same size? It depends on how you, in, you envision stuff. Let's see, you got lights in here? Nope. No power on this one. Yeah, it's a big room. Oh, nice. 
nice, nice big tub, nice window. Here's in her sinks. Shower. Y'all can't front. That's a nice shower. Single wide now. They gonna get this. They're seventy some thousand. And you gotta understand, everything is negotiable. Bam. Let me sit down in the shower. And I mean, I got plenty of room. Plenty of room. See all that floor in front of me. You know, somebody is a little, someone that can't stand long. Yeah, but they want to be up in here with you. They still can. And as far as I'm going with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Bam. Sitting right there. Nice in the tub view. Let's see, can I, can I get a better version of this? Hold on. Look at that. Look how nice that'll look. With you sitting in a tub. Or laying back and, and looking at your ceilings. Come on, guys. <laughs> and as I said before, if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe now and drop a like on this video and check out the rest of my video on this channel. And be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, same name as the account here. The YouTube account, Mobile Home Trends, and my Instagram is mht.ig, and I post sneak previews on that. So I suggest y'all and anyone else that's watching this video, and so also the links will be in the description for my social media, and. I suggest you follow Instagram a little bit more than you are because you've been missing some, you, you've been missing the photos that I post and my sneak previews that I put in my stories. So time I let you know when I'm going to put out more videos in advance in my stories. I post, I post on Facebook too. So, but I, I'm, I'm a little bit more informational on Instagram at mht.ig. Okay, so this concludes this video. I hope you guys are being safe out there and wearing your masks. I know that's not, you know, everybody's not into it, but it's dangerous out here and I'm not, and I'm, I'm gonna be the first to say, I don't know when it's gonna end. So I wouldn't, I would recommend y'all do that. Well, anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. Be sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and be sure to share this in your Twitter and Facebook feed. And for those who have been doing that, thank you very, very, very much for your support. And I hope that you continue to do that. And the ones that haven't, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Bye, and I'm on to the next one.